Hello, my beautiful Libras and cross watchers. Welcome to your weekend read for December 5th through December 8th. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so guys, we're going to do a quick shuffle here on camera, go over a couple really quick announcements. We're going to go over your pre shuffle messages, and then we are going to get into your reading, Libra. Okay, let's get started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Libras, please? Holy Spirit, December 5th through December 8th, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance can we give to my Libras, please? Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Libras, please? Angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do my Libras need to hear today, please, Spirit? What messages do my Libras need to hear? Okay. All right, guys. So Libra, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards and oracle cards. Um, as of this very moment, I've been doing so many readings. I cannot remember if I did your December reading yet or not, but Libra, keep an eye out for it. Hit that notification bell so you know when it posts to see if you've won anything, okay? I will have them out within the next few days. Days, I'm trying to catch up on personal readings. Speaking of which, I am not taking personal readings right now. I'm backed up about two and a half weeks, I think, so I need to catch up before I can take on any more work, guys. Um, I did leave a window open for 15-minute emergency reading, so if it's an emergency and you need me, um, you can go to my website, www.thetaroflight.com, to book a reading. Um, guys, I have over 100 decks. Um, if you're interested in purchasing or viewing the decks that I have, they're all listed on my website with links to purchase. The decks that we're using today is going to be the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot, which is number 64 under the tarot decks. We're using the Quantum Oracle deck, number 17, Sacred Destiny Oracle deck, which is number 16, and the Romance Angels, which is number 2. Okay. So, Libra, let's get into the fun stuff, okay? Um, let's uh, go over your pre-shuffle real quick, and then we're going to get into the reading, okay? So, Libra, I am feeling that someone here, someone here, who has been holding back from committing, okay? We could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo because they move super slow. We know this already, okay? Um, someone here who's been holding back in offering commitment or loyalty or a stable energy in general. This could be someone who's been very in and out emotionally, someone very unsure of the connection. This could even be you, Libra, okay? Um, someone here who's been holding back is now realizing um, that, you know, Walking away from this connection is not what they want, okay? I feel that now that there's some type of distance between you guys. Now, mind you, Libra, you could be living with this person and just have fought with them and there's distance, there's a wall up, and this person is realizing, hell to the nene, I can't do this, I need my Libra. You know what I'm saying? So someone here is, is you know, you're far from somebody. Someone here wants to speak to you desperately, okay? Someone here wants to apologize for, you know, being sneaky, for being emotionally disconnected, for starting arguments, okay? Um, this person has their eye on you. They have not, you know, they're either around the corner from your house as you're watching this, they have their eye on you on social media, but regardless, this person wants to come in with the truth, okay? So Libra, whatever you have been wanting to happen here, get ready because it's about to happen, okay? <clears throat> Get ready because it's about to happen. So whatever you've been hoping for or whatever changes that you've been wishing for in this connection, um, they are about to come to fruition, okay? So expect that message to come in. And this is, you know, I feel for a lot of you that this is uh, for someone that's at a distance from you, someone who's not currently with you. Um, I feel that this person may have pushed away from you for other surrounding reasons, though, to be honest with you. I feel like this person didn't really want to disconnect, you know, from you. I feel like there may have been other outside sources, other reasons why emotionally they felt like it may have been better to disconnect from you, but now they're realizing that really losing you has just made things worse. They can't take 
going one more minute without speaking to you, okay? So Libra, that could be, you know, your energy. It could be your person's energy. Um, but someone here is definitely missing another person. Someone here definitely wants to apologize for being a butthead. Definitely. So Libra, if you're the butthead, you are going to apologize. And if you're not the butthead, you are going to be getting an apology from a butthead. Okay? Alrighty. So here we have Temperance. Temperance, we could be dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, someone coming in wanting healing. This angel, Temperance is a healing angel. This angel comes in to clear up mixed emotions. This is divine guidance. This is an angel that wants, that you know, brings forgiveness, a healing energy, clears up misunderstandings, clears up any confusion. Um, you know, this is definitely answered prayers. Under the deck here, transformation. I love this card. Transformation. Things are changing. And Libra, I feel like they are changing in your favor. I feel like they are changing in your favor. <sighs> Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides for messages to be have for my Libras, please. Okay. Yo, transformation again. <laughs> wow. Yeah, look at that, guys. Transformation. I love it. You got to love tarot, right? And status quo, status is changing, guys. You got to love the light that's coming out of that card. And here, look, we have hidden motivations. Again, like I said, I feel that whatever has happened, Libra, has happened um, because of reasons that you know nothing about. It's not whatever you think it is, that's not what it is, okay? <clears throat> so let's see what we have going on here. Guys, if this resonates, great. If it doesn't resonate, it's simply not your message. Please don't yell at me. It's just not your message. Don't force it to fit. So we have here, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so maybe someone here had to release the past. Release your ex doesn't always mean a specific person, okay? It could just mean um, baggage from the past, things from your from your past, okay? Things that you've been carrying around for a long time. And uh, someone here needed to release something from their past because they, they feel that they want to move into deeper waters with you. They want this to be a strong, committed relationship, and they see that something is standing in the way between you and them, and they know that this is something that they have to heal and release, okay? And this is why we have this healing angel coming in, kicking butt, okay? We have the Eight of Pentacles here. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So what I'm seeing here, Libra, is that somebody here walked away. Someone here disconnected. Someone got on this boat and left because they had to work on something, okay? They had to work on something. The Queen of Pentacles is all about um, stability, commitment, a grounded energy. And I feel that it's like this weird circle, like this person had to backtrack, like, like, a, like a, a spring shot, okay? They had to backtrack. They had to fix a problem to shoot forward to this queen of pentacles state because this is stable, committed, grounded energy. This is a caring, nurturing person. And here we have engagement. So this is telling me that this person had to backtrack to handle some shit and then come back to you. So here we have the eight of wands. We have the page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And we have the ace of cups, baby. Yeah. So, yeah. So I feel like this person had to separate. They had to backtrack for whatever reason. They had to drop off, you know, to the garbage somewhere to come back to you as a clean, healed person so that they can give themselves to you fully. They're going to communicate this. They're going to apologize and they are going to take their entire heart and offer it to you on this beautiful gold platter. Okay. On this beautiful gold cup. So let's see what we have for Oracle here leadership. This person took charge and realized what needed to be done and what needed to be done was release. Okay. They realized that something here was blocking and stopping their life. And what they needed to do was take a breather and go release. So Libra, if you think that he or she has left your side to go be a player or to go do this or to go do that, or they don't really love you or they don't really care and yada, yada, yada. No, that is not the case. This person had some personal healing that they needed to take care of uh, so that they could come back to you a whole person. Okay. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, please, Spirit? The Eight of Pentacles. 
Yeah, this person had a lot of work to do. They've been carrying around a lot of crap, okay? A lot of crap. And they had a lot of work to do to get rid of this, okay? We have the Eight of Pentacles twice, okay? They, the, the Eight of Pentacles is literally clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, all right, guys? This person had a lot of self-healing, a lot of... So, okay, just give me the card. Thank you. A lot of self-healing, a lot of soul-searching, a lot that they had to release and let go of, okay? Why is the Six of Swords here, please, Spirit? The Six of Swords. Ooh, got three cards. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Okay. So someone here had to reject. They had to put distance, okay? Queen of Pentacles, again, we have the Queen of Pentacles here twice, guys. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Someone needed separation from this commitment, okay? They needed, we could be dealing with an earth sign, you know, or, you know, the earth sign stands for commitment. So someone here maybe needed to take a break from this relationship, or it could be if you're dealing with, you know, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, they are the ones that, you know, said, listen, I need some space, okay? Um, why is the Queen of Pentacles here, please, Spirit? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. See, there are things here that you don't know. Here we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, um, and the Sun card in reverse. There are things that you are simply not aware of in this person's life, okay? Now, another thing I'm getting here, guys, um, the King and Queen of Pentacles, number one, this person may be married, okay, and they're very unhappy, and you may not know this, or they may have had relationships in the past that they were very unhappy with, because this is the king and queen of pentacles, okay, this is the king and queen of pentacles, this is husband, wife, mom, dad, um, this could even be an issue with their parents, that their parents uh, have a very negative effect on them, and they need to release this toxicity from their life, okay, so let's move on here, why is the eight of wands here, please, spirit, the eight of wands, yeah, this person is coming in saying, please, uh, you know, please, please, please make the decision. I know there's no reason for you to trust me. I know with you blindfolded there, you can't see a future here. I know you don't trust me, but please just give me another chance, okay? This person, you know, wants deeper commitment with you. Page of Pentacles, an apology, an offer. What is this person offering? They're offering the Ten of Pentacles, baby. Ten of Pentacles, High Priestess, in reverse. They want to be honest. They don't want to hold things back from you anymore. They don't want to be mysterious. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want abundance, a happily ever, ever after. I can't speak. Happily ever after. Why is this Ace of Cups here, please, Spirit? Oh, yeah. Okay. So they're starting this new beginning in love. And, okay, you know, I have a thing that I tell people, me personally, and I say, listen, when I'm done with a relationship, the reason why I don't, I choose personally me not to date, you know, some people do because dating other people when they come out of a relationship helps them heal, it takes their mind off of it, you know, the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody, we've all heard it before, right, okay, but me personally, I choose not to date when I end a relationship because my heart is not mine, Okay, it still belongs to that person. So for me to go date somebody that could really actually maybe treat me well or, uh, you know, like could actually be a good match for me and, and for me to go basically empty handed because I don't have a heart to give this person. My heart is still with the butt head that I left behind. Okay, this reading is full of butt heads if you haven't noticed. So anyways, um, so I personally choose not to do that. But it seems like either you or your person here did. Okay, someone here moved on and started dating somebody when their heart wasn't with them. Okay, now this could be you, Libra. This could be your person. So what's happening here is this person, this person had to leave you behind. They had to cheat, sneak, do whatever to go back to the situation with this ex, with family, with whatever childhood past trauma they had, because the Six of Cups can be an ex. It could be the mother of your child, the father of child. It could be your mom. It could be your dad. It could be family. It could be anybody, okay? But they had to leave to go and reject this and cut it out of their life with the Queen of Swords in the reverse so that now they can take their heart back and give it to you with the Ace of Cups there. Do you understand? So this person had to go leave and like, oh, hold up a minute, go get their heart back and come back to you as a whole person, like I said before, with a heart and everything to now offer to you. 
Do you understand? So Libra, this could be your energy that you're going through this, or this could be your person. All right. You choose what side you're on. All right. Now here we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So the person that got left behind in this whole crazy scenario here um, obviously feels really unloved. Okay, they feel really unloved. So under unrequited love here, we have the star, Aquarius energy. We have the empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. And we have the fool. Okay, so this person here is hoping for a new beginning. They're hoping that you will come back and take the risk on them. You know what I'm saying? They're hoping because they want to start something with you. This person does love you. They just don't feel, you know, they don't feel loved by you. You know what I'm saying? So whoever here had to disconnect. So Libra, if someone left you, this is your side then. You want this person. You love this person. You want to have a new beginning with this person. You want to take a risk with this person but you don't feel loved by them because they dipped on you to go do whatever the hell it is that you think that they're doing but instead they're they're releasing so that they can come back to you okay so here we have passion the queen of swords aquarius gemini libra energy we have the five of cups okay we have the two of wands so there's that distance okay so with distance, the heart grows fonder. We all know this, okay? So because there's distance between you and this person now, because you're pissed off, because you're closing off your heart, because you're really hurt, when this person does decide to come back, it's going to bring up such a flare of passion in you, like, wow, really, that you're, you're back? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's going to bring up a lot of passion in you, um, you know, because it's like that pent of pain and the relief of them coming back saying, listen, here's my heart. I want to go get it for you is going to be overwhelming. Okay. It's going to be overwhelming. Has the full card just popped out. Okay. So let's see what we have here, guys. Why is the star card here, please? Yeah, see, we have allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Like, your heart is going to soar. Because you're at this point where you're like, you know, this freaking butthead just picked up, left. I was starting to fall in love with him. But they're back. Just literally handing you their heart on a platter. And your heart is just going to, like, just explode with love. Why is the star card here, please, spirit? What did I say? So we have someone coming in here with an apology, with an offer. Hey, here's my heart. In this particular card, his heart or her heart is a fish. Not positive. But anyways, so the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy in the reverse is someone who cannot control their emotion. So you're going to sit here with the star. You're wishing on a star. You're praying. You're hoping this person is going to come in and you're just going to let loose and start crying and just be an emotional mess. Like you're just going to, your emotions are going to just overwhelm you. Why is the Empress card here, please, Spirit? Yeah, see, you were fighting, you know, you you were thinking that this person may come back and apologize and fight for you a little bit more, and maybe they haven't yet, or maybe, you know, you're sitting here waiting for an apology because this person is a butthead and started a fight with you, um, but either way, I mean, this person, some type of message came in here that, you know, there, there was a fight and something here broke your heart when you are sitting here in empress mode wanting to build with this person. You were ready to give your heart to this person, and they straight up broke your heart, okay? Why is the full card here, please, spirit? Yeah, it may appear, it may appear that the way this person left so quickly and dipped on you and just walked away from you looking like they didn't care, it may have looked like they didn't care with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. It may have looked like they could care less, that they were emotionally ma manipulating you the entire time. But Libra, it's not the case. I said it at the beginning of the reading. Whatever you think the reason for this is, it's not. This person just had to go find their heart so they could come back and give it to you. Why is the Queen of Swords here, please, Spirit? The Queen of Swords? Yeah. 
See, you're over here, your heart is freezing over because you're being left out in the cold, you're mourning this person, you're really sad, we've got the Five of Cups here twice, you're really hurting here, Libra, and if this isn't you, it's your person. Someone here is really hurting. Why is the Five of Cups here, please, Spirit? This is not a joke, like someone really broke someone's heart. Yeah, because you don't understand why. You don't under, this person isn't telling you why they really left. They're not telling you what really happened because they're keeping it a secret. They're keeping it a secret. They don't want to tell you, listen, I had to go back and get my heart. They don't want to tell you that for some, for whatever reason, they just don't want to tell you. Why is the two of wands here? And because they don't want to tell you, we still have this distance happening here. They decided to just separate themselves to go do what they had to do, okay? Now, with the Two of Wands here, we have someone here who is just juggling the idea, should I, um, you know, accept this person back? Should I believe them, what they're telling me, um, or should I take action, okay? So Libra, you know, because of all this pain this person caused you, now you're gonna be asking yourself, you know, should I trust this person or should I set myself free from this situation? Should I trust this connection? Because the problem here is, is that they're not going to come back and tell you this. They're not going to give you a real answer. So you either just have to trust this person or set yourself free from the situation. And it would be sad if you didn't because this person did this to specifically give you all of them. Okay. See, we have the seven of wands. This is overcoming. And look at that heart there in the middle, all cracked. So Libra, whoever here had their heart broken has to overcome the heartache. And whoever here had to go release their past had to overcome that challenge. And what's crossing the situation is that both of y'all are stressed the frick out with the nine of swords. You guys aren't sleeping. You guys are anxious. You guys are upset because there's real love here. There's love here and there's a lot of pain. And, you know, these are growing pains. That's exactly what this is, growing pains. Um, this had to happen for this to grow. So either it's going to grow or it's going to break. Three of Wands, Eight of Cups. Someone here had to walk away to go handle their business, but they are missing you like crazy. They are yearning for you. They are yearning for you. We've got Temperance here and the Ace of Pentacles. Now they're coming back, wanting to offer this opportunity, wanting to bring healing. They're back with this huge apology. Now they're back here and they're telling you, baby, I'm here. I'm your emperor now. I'm a whole man. I'm a whole man. I'm a whole woman. I could give you my all. I'm here to protect this connection, to sit down and take my throne by your side as emperor or empress. Okay? They're here. They're see that with transformation and status quo, they had to change. They had to change something in their life. They had to change status. Either they had to release an ex, or they had to tell their parents to back off, or there's whatever the case was. There was a status in their life that had to change in order for them to give you their full selves. And they went ahead and they did it. You know, Libra. So the rest is up to you here. Yeah, if you take this cup of love, your dreams will come true and you got the wheel of fortune here, okay? If you start this, if you start this new beginning, this could lead to a possible engagement. Look, this person is here coming in with a ring, okay? Now, if you, you know what I'm saying? If you hold back, if you hold back, think about this and decide to just be single and go there and be a player, um, you may be waiting. You may be waiting for some time for things to change, for you to actually get what you want, to have healing from this situation, to have healing from the situation because you are constantly going to miss this person if you reject them because they are your ten of cups because they are your ten of cups and you're just confused as to why they withdrew okay as to why they withdrew but if you can overcome you can start this beautiful life with this person okay i'm done now so libra if this resonated please be sure to like don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win have a wonderful weekend guys this is a beautiful reading, okay? Take care, and drop a comment below. I like to hear about what's going on, all right? Bye, guys.